Hello, we're in for some heavy rain and some unseasonably strong winds. Why? Well, the weather charts look more like October than July. One, two areas of low pressure heading our way, and this one in particular down to the southwest is intensifying. The ice of Mars popping out of it, it's developing as it heads towards southwest England. The ice bar squeezing together, telling us there's going to be some stronger winds and those weather fronts bringing the heavy rain. We'll start to see that wet weather coming into the southwest during Thursday night. The other weather system will bring some lighter rain into North Wales, Northwest England, Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland. But many central and eastern parts will have a largely dry night. Thursday's heavy showers tending to fade during the evening. Temperatures going to hold up at 13 or 14 degrees Celsius, but uh, it'll feel cooler than that first thing in the morning across the southwest with the heavy rain and those strengthening winds, which will continue to pick up during the morning over southwest England, south Wales and along the west coast of Wales as well. The rain will be moving in as well. So a lot of spray surface water on the roads, but it's the, it's the winds we're most concerned about. If we just take the rain off and put the warning area on, these winds likely to be 40, 45 over hills and coast maybe 50 miles an hour. Now that's not particularly strong if it were October in particular, but it's not. It's July. There's a lot of people on the roads, a lot of people doing things, having plans. So we do have a Met Office yellow warning in place because those kind of winds are unseasonably strong and may well cause some disruption as a result. The wet weather will continue to drift northwards and the winds will pick up too for Northern Ireland, the Midlands, the rain spreading into eastern and then parts of Northern England along with the south coast also. Parts of Scotland's getting away with a largely dry day but even here that rain will arrive during Friday evening and overnight. And the winds, as I say, strengthening everywhere, bringing a cooler feel. A bit of brightness in the southeast and East Anglia could just about see temperatures getting into the uh, low 20s but for most will be in the high teens at best and again feeling colder because of the wind and the rain which continues to track north as I mentioned during Friday evening so swamping its way across Scotland the winds picking up on the east coast of Scotland and across the Northern Isles too the winds switching direction further south so we'll see some clearer spells as we head into Saturday morning but by now the low is sitting right over us as you can tell by the winds swirling around and the gustiest winds on Saturday likely to be over the Midlands East Anglia and parts of South East England, we have another Met Office yellow warning in place here. Gusts of maybe 50, 55 miles an hour. Again, nothing spectacular about those winds. Were we in autumn or winter? But in midsummer, that is pretty unusual and could cause some disruption. There will also be heavy showers around for most on Saturday. This line of more persistent rain likely to linger over parts of northern Scotland, but elsewhere it's chasing bands of showers zipping through on that brisk and gusty wind throughout the day. And as I said, those showers likely to turn heavy, possibly even thundery. They will move through because of the strength of the wind and there will at times be some sunny spells lifting the temperatures, again, only into the high teens, maybe the low 20s and still feeling cool because of that wind and certainly when the downpours come along. And speaking of downpours, there will be more showers to come on Sunday. There's that low pressure sitting slap bang over us on Saturday, but it does start to edge away and pull away at least a little bit as we head into Sunday. The isobars open up a little bit, so that's telling us the winds will be at least a little bit lighter, but it's still gonna be a blustery Sunday with a mix of sunshine and showers. A full weekend forecast is available on our YouTube channels.